Hey everybody, what is going on, it's your boy, it's all 33 back once again with some Pokemon Platinum randomizer. Last time, we met with Cynthia as we chased a Team Rocket Grunt to the lakefront, and she gave us a secret potion to cure the headaches of the Psyduck here, just above this town, Celestic Town? Anywho, today we're going to go through this route, and, spoiler alert, we're going to get in a battle straight away. Ta-da. I'm one of the ninja trio. Being discovered means me. I have to battle. So, what are we going to be seeing here? As ninja boy Mike enters to the battle, the mega is a start. Ramsay is our start, and this is going to be fire. Now Ramsay obviously will kill this probably in one hit. Actually, maybe not. I just saw the levels. Yeah, Pokemon levels are going to be quite close. And that Yamega might be quicker than us. There we go, it is. Speed boost does that kind of stuff. It's actually really powerful. And in my opinion, Ramzine needs to get the kill here. If we don't want to get out of hand. Now, Yamega is down and out. We've got, I think, possibly one more Pokemon this ninja trio has. Crawdnaught. I'm not sticking in with Ramsey. We need a grass type killer. You have thunder? Why am I switching into WAP? Why am I? I'm trying to think why I would switch into it. I know why I didn't switch into, um, Miss Mag, uh, Blitzian. That's her name. I haven't played Pokemon in a while. I'll be honest, I don't remember half the team's name. I just know this is WAP. Ramzai were the first two we had, so I remember them pretty easily. Blixor and Blitziana, the rest of our team, with Bingus, question mark, as the last member that we have so far. Anywho, we'll kill this Cordnaut with a Mark Punch. Super effective, and good night, Mr. Krabby. Crab, 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 crab. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do a Mr. Krabs impression. I, 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 I can't do it. I cannot do it. But uh, it's been a while since we've recorded any Pokemon on this channel. I've been way too busy recording... Um, what's it called? I've been busy doing uh, League of Legends stuff. Like, I recorded about six, seven episodes in a row of this. And this is the first time we're touching it. 14th of March. Mother's Day in the UK. That's what it is. Anywho, I'm recording it on Nan. Meaning that I'm actually in a good position. So, we'll raise our team, a champ. Fighting type, we'll send him Bingus. Because we have some flying attacks. Now, we could have sent him Blitzian and actually just stomped it, but I don't want to stomp a little kid's team. Now, I, I am amazed we haven't run into a Pokemon, as I was saying that, in this grassy area, and there's a Starmie. Eh, we can kill on these. Let's see. Bit of XP. Now, where's the little kid? Here he is. That's a Crobat. That's not a terrible Pokemon. Honestly, I would run with these, but nah. We've got two flying types in our team. Let's beat the last ninja. And from what I remember, this is a very long route that we're entering into. 
which is probably going to be the rest of this episode. We're going to use this episode to catch up on stuff. And I honestly have had a lot of fun just doing League content. As you, if you can't tell, I've been heavily, heavily scripting my content with the Anarchy Analysis. Anarchy Analysis is... There, I can say it correctly. Basically, that stuff, I write the script pretty much as soon as the game... Well, well when I get a chance to. Like, I use the LCS to usually write the LEC ones, and I usually enjoy watching the LEC ones. Anyway, we enter a route here where Defog would kind of be nice. So we'll speak to you. He's saying we really need Defog to take on this route. Oh, Sphere. Now, I would kill that, but nah. But yeah, we probably do need Defog for this route. But that's okay. We'll just walk through it like normal. I don't care for it. Okay, I'm gonna switch into Blitzian because I think you have some psychic moves to deal with a mother trucking ho ho. There we go. I think Dragon Breath would actually be better. Okay, it's not. But I'm trying to get a paralysis. Okay, we're one attack away from killing it. There we go. Good night, ho ho. Let's see, unleveled up. And Teddy Ursa. Okay, we'll slow down now because we've been going quite quick through these battles. I am sat here contemplating life on Mother's Day. Had a good in. My mum was treated dearly by me and what can I say if you saw that uh, anarchy analysis video where I had all that money yeah you can kind of tell why I treated her <laughs> but no she's great mother hands down <laughs> anywho let's get back to the content we're playing platinum uh, we've discussed new gen 4 games before so we won't go into them. We've discussed quite a lot about uh, League content recently in this. Let's just talk about everything else. Who's gonna kill? Okay, we do. Uh, what should we talk about? Uh, I mean, there's the wrestling. I mean, I do have a lot of fondness for wrestling. Obviously, there was Sacrifice, the Impact pay-per-view yesterday, I do believe. Oh, Kabutops. And there's obviously AEW Revolution that's just happened the other day, what, well, last weekend. That was an interesting pay-per-view. Um, I guess I can discuss... Who's my current favorite wrestler with you guys? Uh, we'll start with that, yeah. So, I am currently big favorite male superstar. Uh, I'll go with Kenny Omega. I mean, he's poggers. He's, just, he's very talented, let's be honest. Uh, favorite female. Oh god, that's it. I really wish you were alive right now. No, it's part dragon, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm hoping that we kill it. Okay, never mind. We'll go to Miss Magmius. We might be losing our team quickly. Ominous Moon Mist. Um, oh, that's Pog. But a favorite male wrestler is Kenny Omega. Favorite female? Well, I would honestly say favorite female is. Anna J. 
she's really talented as a wrestler. I mean, it's her first proper full year as a wrestler. Jesus, my team is dying quick. And she's very talented. She's signed to AEW. They see the potential in her. And honestly, she's really good. But favorite person that I've only just discovered is Maggie Ito. Honestly, she's really struck solid as a wrestler. Like, I did some research recently, or like, yesterday. I watched a full documentary about her, in a sense, learning about how she was an idol for Link. And she got fired. That stuff, I learned that. Okay. I'm just gonna press this because there has to be a hidden item here. There isn't. Okay, what's the point in that then? Anywho, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. I'll see you guys then. Okay, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna be going back onto this route, battling every trainer. Like these duo. Zack and Jen. Okay, Zack and Jen, what have you got for us? Dratini and a Plusle. Nice duo here. Uh, we'll fire Fang the Plusle, probably get paralyzed, and we'll twist them both. That was actually really good. Real good turn to us. We're gonna kill them both here. But no, let's go back to what we were saying about wrestling. Maki Ito, hands down one of the best wrestlers that I've seen so far, learning about her. And Anna J, it's just a shame that she got injured when there was probably some big plans, plans for her, obviously. Because she was in the women's tournament. Granted, I didn't expect her to win. You would have thought, maybe she beats Dr. Britt Baker. Maybe. And then you could technically have in the second round, Anna J versus Ty Conte. That would have been an absolute banger of a matchup. Like, you have the two BFFs actually wrestling against one another. Like, it would work. And this Salamence is being a pain. I cannot hit it. Okay, it's probably going to go for the double protect. I'm switching out. Boom. And now you die. It got paralyzed. It protected itself. I miss. It hits. It protects. I hit finally in good night, Salamance. Jesus, that took forever. Abra, Kadabra, Alakaramzai. Oh, that's one thing I can talk about. Pokemon, let's go. Now, obviously, I do technically have one episode left of that to record for you guys. But, you won't get that anytime soon. Obviously, with this, kind of want to finish this. And then you can have that episode. Don't know where I thought it was a good idea to start a new Pokemon series. When I hadn't finished the original. But. I do have a main account. Which I finally have every single Pokemon on. Meaning I own all 150 Pokemon. I know there's 151. I do also own the Mel Metal and Mel Tan. So there's technically 153. Oh, I'm slowing back down because this battle music's awesome. The karate guys usually have good music. <laughs> That's kind of the opposite of a Pokemon you'd expect. What are these cry guys to own? Anyway, it's a ton of XP. 
Happy any Chansey and Blissey usually do give a lot in terms of XP. I'm now trying to find the correct line. There we go. And we couldn't go backwards and grab this item. Face this little ninja kid. Electric. Uh, we can deal with that. This has actually been a good route. We've leveled up Ramsay twice. Swallow. We'll switch. Blitzy Ann can come in for a bit. Give her some actual damage. Plus, she's going against my sister's favorite Pokemon. And wow, three Psy Waves hit. That's huge. I was not expecting that. Anywho, let's pick up this PP Max, that's huge. And let's face this Ace Trainer. Or Bird Trainer. Bird Keeper, sorry. Sorry, Jacqueline. Or I will bite you. And we get a flinch. Boom, you're good night. We're going to be in try-hard mode right now. If it gets the boost off on me, I'm going to be disappointed. Do you know what's actually really good? Paralysis in fog means these attacks miss. And mine are actually hitting. Wow. Bleaksaw's just soloing this guy. Good night, Giratina. Wow, was not expecting that effort from our Probo Pass. Now let's get out of here past this old man. Oh, you battle me, I don't care. Let me end you. <laughs> okay, I'm not staying into that. We'll switch into what? Sonic Boom. Okay, cool. I will Aqua tell you because Twister will probably do minimalistic damage. See, it doesn't even kill. Good night, Flygon. What's your second Pokemon, Mr. Veteran? Sceptile. I'm staying in. Time to waste some turns against a Sceptile. Go into the air. We'll probably miss. Never mind, we hit and we kill. Good. Sceptile down, Barboach. Barb. Boach. Yeah, we'll stay. We'll go with the mock punch. And get confused. And it rests. Of course you have rest. And snort. Okay. This thing is set up. Wow. We missed. I kind of wish this fog did not exist right now. Good night. Good night. Good night. Finally. Need to hit three of them mock punches to actually kill it. But we finally do. And we finally enter Celestic Town. So there is one thing that we need to do here. And that'll be the thing that ends this episode off. It's been a long one. I say long now. It's not that long. Okay, so we'll come over here to speak to you. There's an old spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but that only seems to make him get angry. He's saying he will blow up the town with a bomb. The nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. Oh, let's go in this house. Okay, nothing in it. I want to go in this elder's house. It's the big old one. Uh, we'll read this. What do you have to say? Where are you from? Hmm, Twinleaf Town, you say? Isn't that close to Lake Variety? The lake is said to be home of Mesrit, the being of emotion. 
That Pokemon may well be watching over you. Would you like to know about Mesrit? Mesrit is a legendary Pokemon that symbolizes the emotions beside it. Oh, also, you see, the being of knowledge in itself, the being of willpower. These sea Pokemon are said to have strong and compassionate spirits. The power of their spirits maintained a natural balance of Sinnoh. Nice. Anyway, let us go down and interact with this spaceman. Because why not? After we grab this berry juice. Anyway, hi, Mr. Uh, Spaceman. This town is insignificant. There is nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll show you down with a Pokemon battle. So what's it gonna be? Are you going to mess with me? You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on the world, no the universe even. Well, I like battling Team Galactic, so we'll kill you. That's a good Pokemon. I like Spiritomb. Kind of would hope that we catch one. Alas, we haven't had that much luck. Now, this thing has no weaknesses in this generation. So, we just have to use the most powerful move we have. As such, we do Slowpoke, though. We kind of can kill it with some weaknesses if we had any moves that was strong against it. Now, we'll just bring in Blitzian, because Blitzian is Blitzian, and Blitzian can Blitzian this Blitzian. Try saying that three times over. <laughs> and Blitzian kills it, and we beat this Team Galactic Gun. I just got worked over, and no less by a kid. Too much to handle. I can't be doing anything here. This place is nothing. I'll be happy to get rid of it. Oh, you were magnificent. Aren't you quite the trainer? As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm. May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver to me. That's Cynthia. She is my granddaughter. We handed over the old charm to the elder. This old charm is something made for in Celestic Town long, long ago. It was made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you are in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? Okie dokie, we'll do that next time. If you enjoyed this part, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're into if you want to, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.